what's up guys welcome back to another reaction video today we were fun to be reacting to a video titled tomat's death is very strange now respectfully i don't know who tomat is i think he a youtuber but let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen so during this past week or so i've been incredibly busy according to stop the yapping stop the yapping announced that too mad the edgy overwatch meme based youtuber has passed away and according to tmz they allude to the fact that when? it was a possible overdose now the 14 to what oh. he od'd on i have no clue some people are saying alcohol some people are saying pills some people are saying whatever he took may have been laced with fentanyl who knows but according to tmz they say at 207 p.m pacific standard time an eerie fact about when one of the last things Too Mad appears to have been doing before he passed. According to his Discord page, he was playing Overwatch and seems to have not changed his active status for nearly a week. And to be honest, it is entirely possible that he may have OD'd well over a week ago and assuming he's been living by himself, nobody may have known his whereabouts until one of his close friends or people he usually mm -hmm. talks to hasn't heard from him in nearly a week, decided to check up on him and found out that he was passed the fuck out rotting on his living room floor or whatever. And to be honest, just thinking about that, visualizing that in my head, it's kind of fucked up. And I know at this point in time, Very a lot of people up. are pissing on his grave. You know, under this one specific tweet by Dexerto announcing Two Mad's passing at just 23 years old, a lot of people are saying that's too bad. Smoking on that Two Mad pack. Oh. Bo, 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 what did he do, bro? I, I have no idea what Two Mad did in his life. Watch everyone like that's fucked up, but what he said, too bad. Old, a lot of people are that's, too that's too bad. bad. Is crazy, bro. Bad. Smoking on that Two Mad pack. What did he do, bro? Is this is this just bullying or is this justified, bro? Too bad for him, I guess. I sat on him. Don't care. Oh, that's a only smoking on. I didn't get that, but I, I'm assuming she's just like she, she's trying to get clout. I, I get, I get on that too mad pack. Deserve. I'm confused as to why Twitter is celebrating. Yeah. This, says this person by the name of Wizzy. And to be honest, I was a little confused at first too. But allegedly, according to this big YouTuber by the name of James Ski, who came out recently and said that too mad was a rapist and a file, and he tried to murder innocent people. And James Ski on his official Twitter page said, "I can finally say it. Too mad was a rape and a." file over the past few years he tried to murder me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he's done he wanted uh. to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head-on on a freeway while being high on illegal drugs he didn't succeed once as he overdosed before killing anybody so he tried it again uh. but despite him trying to murder me and multiple innocent lives i've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe doesn't get hurt and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember. Well, he's dead now, so. Remember that he's a. And he, he continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13 year old in a mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reason why I ended up in the ER. Please give me time and then uh this other creator by the name of justin minx replied by saying i don't know how to feel right now obviously referring to two mad's death then james ski quoted her by saying i just got full confirmation that i can tell the public you actively interfered with investigations and assisted too mad by revealing him confidential information provided by the authorities and that you also encouraged him to kill himself for hours days before the tragedy you even talked about it on the streams and uh he dropped this video below showing proof of allegedly what she did egging on to mad to potentially kill himself i think he wants i think he's just trying to cope because he has none left to live for which i understand because he has none sounds like revenge hope he gets help sure sure starburst if you support rape and him holding a gun to her head. Yeah, I hope he gets up too. Yeah, but they say you you helped him like with some information. Like, what do you what? And by how? Is there proof? Is there proof of this? Or like how you know this? Like, I mean, I hope he learns how to tie a noose in a video game. 
Yes, in a video game, of course. Of course, we don't mean in real life, but honestly, holy shit. This is a lot to take in because I thought Too Mad would have been the last person to ever intentionally kill himself or accidentally OD on anything, but alas, here we are. Allegedly, according to multiple people, including James Ski, he's a grapist and a pedo. You know, I've always known he was an edgy type YouTuber slash streamer, you know. I made a video last year about Too Mad, kind of making fun of the 16-year-old trans girl who died in the UK, referring to her as his girlfriend and that i guess he would hit or whatever but nah this is crazy bro, what the fuck are we watching bro what are we watching bro what? see and this was definitely unexpected and according to tmz they say too mad aka mudia Sadiq, which i assume is his real name was found unresponsive on tuesday night at his los angeles area home this after somebody called in to ask for a welfare check so it just as i assumed he lives by himself in his own home but he was probably passed the fuck out od'd on whatever the hell he took for damn near five to six days and because you know i, I guess he's a very isolated and distant person he doesn't really have many close friends and people don't like him that much uh he passed out on his living room floor and nobody went to check up on him until almost a week later which is why his overwatch tab was open on his discord bio for so long and according to tmz they say that their sources say there was drug paraphernalia found on the scene and at this point they were told this is being investigated as a possible overdose no foul play is suspected in the death also i want to talk about this photo that was posted to two mads twitter page himself i suppose this is one of the guns that he bought for himself and for some reason decided to post this to his twitter page on the 8th of february this year and this is very important because based on what i saw from a fellow creator by the name of nicholas diorio's twitter page it it, it really looks like too mad was with the shits like i guess these are some official police documentations of too mad kissing his his ar-15 as give me 30 days and i'll make you go viral on short form and if we don't get you a million views you don't pay if you had a as you can see in the top left photo labeled a in brackets ar-15 we can see him kissing the gun here in the other photo labeled b ar-15 different from a note the short barrel so this is a different gun and a scary ass goddamn position lurking in a stairwell i'm not sure who's taking these photos here we have him in the bottom left photo with a m9 handgun also commonly known as a beretta and boys posted up in the dark outside at nighttime taking a selfie and then in the final photo on the bottom right here we have two mad with what looks to be like a different gun posted up wide bodied angles smiling like a goddamn psycho holding the gun out like he's ready to use that thing i mean this is the thing about modern meme culture it's like you can't even tell what's satire and what's not anymore it's all like the lines have been blurred memes have become reality and reality has become a meme i mean holy and according to just a minx she said i asked the police to do something about all of this right and they said until it's a break and answer they can't do anything i don't know what that means b and e what does that have to do with the situation but she does go on to say this is one image from the lawsuit at james key can i show the rest and here we have like a whole bunch of calls from an unknown caller no caller id back to back to back and followed up by the image we just saw of two mad so i mean holy fuck all this being leaked is new to us um but upon scrolling down in the comment section they say not to defend but the bottom right image is from a photo in 2019 from this guy named yumi main his instagram page and has apparently ended up in a lawsuit to be shown as real guns but according to this person they were unloaded bb guns and he's like highly confused as to what the fuck is going on so clearly there's some manipulation happening here cropped out photo mm. here we can see the photo here a mm. bb gun so he says from 2019 of too mad and his friends so this looks way more innocent obviously it's not black and white it's not cropped out in comparison to what we just mm. saw here where it looks like too mad is a legit psycho so i mean you see how media manipulation works right like you can be made to look like a psycho even if you really aren't in which case i don't know if too mad actually was or not i mean the guy seemed pretty crazy to me but this whole entire debacle is just like insane somebody said though these are either going to become a valueless trash or skyrocket in price on no. ebay in reference to two mad's miniature no. bobblehead u2's collectible toys i mean i don't know also if you peep the number 23 which is the same exact age of which two mad is now or was when he died i mean he also was apparently found two days ago on valentine's day so i very spooky bizarre and you got this guy by the name of the real lil mar by the way this guy apparently allegedly he's been known for linking up with 14 year olds 15 year olds 16 year olds seven like a whole bunch of underage girls what the fuck is this drip bro like you could have maybe make made this work with some white socks bro 
Do not dress like this man, bro. If you wear galaxy clothes, bro, that is not it, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. Like, maybe if it's just like a little sweater, but like the whole fit is crazy, bro. Nah, and then you, and then you post a picture like this, bro. You look like you fucking wear galaxy clothes, bro. In middle school and high school, and for some reason he's been caught but he's still a free man and bro said any man that touches children doesn't deserve to breathe the same air as the rest of us good riddance and you can only imagine the comment section below somebody said he really waited until he died to slander his name it's crazy well i mean they say there was an ongoing lawsuit police were investigating and i guess if you leak that information to the internet it could disrupt the lawsuit or the investigation in one way or another so i guess it's best to keep things low-key until you're able to safely speak to the public about all these things but yeah i mean i really do want to know where are the evidence to support all these alleged accusations like you know me i don't like labeling anybody anything until there's like definitive proof this is just crazy especially if he's no longer here to defend himself i hope he drops all the evidence in the proof james ski i really do you're probably gonna see this video too where is the proof you gotta drop it man and another thing why are people shitting on his death like listen i understand he was probably a terrible person to a lot of different people people i understand that but why are we so callous and cold and desensitized to like literally sh he, he literally graped someone he said he he, he tried murdering someone i heard uh, nah, nah, nah. he's like he's like a pedo or something like of course like let him but let him but it's let him shitting on people dying without any definitive proof and just like it's Okay, yeah, you're right. There's no proof. There's no proof. Uh, we, we need the proof. High key, bro. It just seems distasteful. Like, back then when I made made the edp video and everybody thought he was gonna kill himself i still said listen if he kills himself it is what it is but i'm not just gonna as soon as it happens get up and parade around and fucking be ecstatic that he killed himself like it did anything for my life and be excited and joy yeah, bro there's two people in this world bro the guy the guy there's him who even though you hate someone and they're an evil person he seems like he's gonna be sad that, that they died right and then there's another person who's gonna just hate that person and when they die they're gonna be happy about it this guy is different i ain't gonna lie but i mean i respect it you know joyful and dancing and kumbaya like bro what the this is weird man like somebody dying shouldn't make you that giddy as if you're a crackhead who just took a puff of crack like i mean the guy may have been a terrible person but being out here cheesing like the fucking joker at somebody ODing on we don't even know what he od'd on is kind of psycho to me i don't know maybe i'm tweaking maybe i'm in the wrong here for having this perspective but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below i i just think this entire situation fucked up guy was very young clearly mentally ill that does not excuse what he allegedly did to multiple victims and yeah thoughts opinions concerns like the video of course up to the channel if you're new and damn man should, should we even say rfp2 man i don't know man if you enjoyed that video leave a like Comment down, what are your thoughts about two mad because i really this is my first time learning about him so i really have no idea like what type of person he is or he was i mean he died bro so i think it should be all right peace to be honest but that means rest in peace and like should he be should he rest in peace because like what if he did do these things he should be flamed for it i don't know i don't know man i don't know if y'all want to see more content like this consider subscribing because we post four to five videos per week I with that being said, I'll catch you on the next what you do. Too many pills got me hyperventilating. I was up in hell trying to dance, I was Satan. Uh, that bitch gone, so I need a replacement. Jackie Chan, my back, boy. That's just how I'm blazing. Rush hours, fuck that bitch on rush hour. I get high.